All right, 15 through 19. <clears throat> what we're doing is graphing. So we've got a graph, f of x equals 5 over 2 uh, to the negative x. If we remember, um, this is a uh, exponent. So it's an exponential function, right? And then uh, the other thing we should remember is if it's growth or is it uh, decay? So what is this, growth or decay? Yeah. Growth, right? <clears throat> so, so if we remember what growth looks like, it goes from zero to infinity, right? So growth should go through one, right? And then kind of look like this. Right? Now, <clears throat> with the x being negative, that means that this is going to look like this, isn't it? Yeah. And it'll look like the k. Because what it is, it just flipped it across the y-axis. Because the x's became opposite, right? Okay? So if the whole function were opposite, then this thing would flip across the x-axis. If the y were negative, the whole thing would be across the x-axis. But because the x is the opposite, it's going to cr cross across the the the, uh, the y or the x yeah the y-axis. Okay. So if we take a look at that on the board, we take this function and we graph it. There it is. And so what we're doing to graph it, go to the Desmos, plug in y equals. 5 over negative, or 5 over 2, and then raise it to the negative x power, and here it is, a nice graph. Okay? Um, and then that's, that's what I'm expecting you to be able to do. Uh, we graphed it just fine without the, without the graphing calculator. And last year, we never used the graphing calculator. This year, I want you to use it. I want you to know how to use it. Um, we don't have computers, so maybe every once in a while, you'll come up here and just fiddle with this screen. And, and try it out. So the next one <clears throat> is 17. And 17 is 3 to the x over 2, right? And we have to remember, is this a growth or decay? Mm, uh, I say growth. Growth, right? So we have this function that looks like this. And then it, it is growth. So it's going from zero again, going through one, it goes from zero to infinity, right? So, um, but what happens is uh, the x's are being multiplied by one half. What does that mean when we multiply the x's by a half? No, it is a it's a it's a stretch, right? Or is it a compression? It's a compression, right? But remember, x's do the opposite. So it's a stretch. So it becomes a stretch, right? <laughs> so a horizontal stretch is what it should look like. So if I'm horizontally stretching this, then maybe this should go and start looking like this, right? It's still going to go through this point at 1, but it's going to be stretched out. Does that make sense? It's going to be pulled out a little bit. Okay, so if we, we could check that out by just uh, going backwards on this. No. Here. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, all right, let's take a look. So we do y equals, okay, and y equals 3. Okay, and then we come outside and take it to the x, right? So this is to the x. This is 3 to the x, right? Now, if we predict it right, this should get pulled this way. Okay? So now we're going to do x divided by 2. And this got pulled just a little bit. All right? Now, can we prove it? Yeah, I could just write the same equation. Y is equal to the parentheses 3 in parentheses, and then raise it to the power of X. And 
then see how what it did was pull this, stretched it out. So by stretching it, it also pulled this side up. Does that make sense? So it like stretched it. Now, remember, one half is a compression, but because X is to the opposite, it actually horizontally stretched it. Okay? So that's, that's a way of looking at this on your graphing calculator. Okay? All right, let's look at number 17. So 17 actually looks like, even though this is the original one, we noticed that our prediction wasn't quite, quite right. It comes up a little bit and then out. So it came up a little bit and then out. Okay? All right, so then uh, 19 is to the x minus 5. Does anyone know what that shift is going to be? I didn't say that word. I said shift. <laughs> All right, yeah. So x does the opposite. So we know it's going to be a horizontal shift, right? So it's going to go right 5. Yeah, the opposite of negative. So it's going to go right 5. So what's nice here is I can come up here and I can get rid of this and put in a 2, right? It's still going to be a basic 2 and then come out here and uh, oops, come out here and go backwards. There we go. Alright, so 2 to the x. So that's 2 to the x, okay? And then this one, let's change it up so that it's 2 to the x. All right, so they're exactly the same. Now what happens when we have uh, the x minus 5? So minus 5. And see what happens there? Whoa. Why is it so far? Why is it so far? <laughs> what happened? Oh, is it because minus 5? Because, yes. Yeah, minus and 5 is, is that where it crosses? Yeah. 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 Yeah, that's it. Let's zoom out a little bit, see what's going on. It's that. There we go. Yeah, see? It goes down. So the X's. So it went down five. Because you took it from the. Oh, look what I did. Yeah, it's not. I didn't. I'm like, this shouldn't go down five. That's exactly what you just said. Because I put the uh, minus five in the wrong place. There we go. Dan, you know that Rosie said that twice, right? No, I didn't. We just did the same it. thing. You gotta raise it. No, no, I did. But it's not doing it. Is it not letting you continue? No, X what? there. Do minus do 5. Well, no, it's it's not it, class. it will not let you stay up to the X. I'll just do this. Parentheses. X. Minus 5. There we go. Alright, there we go. So now with this, so what we just learned, what did we just learn? Dante, what did we just learn about the graphing calculator? That's how I feel. I feel disrespect because I turn around and you're just talking. But I'm not saying no word, but the thing is, you guys are both bitches. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, but what did we just learn? Did anybody see what we just learned? We have to put it in the parentheses. This, this graphing calculator won't let you just go x minus 5. It throws it down below, which makes it the function minus 5, which shifts it down. Okay? So, if we want x minus 5, we've got to put it in the parentheses. Now we have x minus 5, and that pulls it just 5 places to the left, or to the right. Okay? Uh, pretty simple. So, our graph that we, we said was going to be like this. Right? And then we were going five places, one, two, three, four, five, and it's still like this. Okay? So again, this is how our paper should look, and that's it.